watching Get Serial TV, we're here with Ben with his Psych Time segment. Good morning. I wonder if anyone else at home was yawning because they saw... I, I, I believe you, you, you can tell us um, what the basis for Why contagious yawns is. Look, I have brought Why? my neuroscience book in. Ah, uh, cool. And I will endeavour to explain why yawning is contagious. Cool. But before we get to the yawning, I'd like to talk about monkeys. Okay, okay cool. That's a segue. Yep. Um, there's some amazing research done with monkeys on their brains. And mm. in particular, on a neuron in their brain called a mirror neuron. Now, the mirror neuron is a relatively new discovery. And to kind of put this all in perspective, our brain is made up of hundreds of millions of neurons. Mm -hmm. And about 10% of these are mirror neurons. And what they've found is that these mirror neurons actually copy and emulate what is going on in the brains of people or, as the case may be, monkeys around them. Okay. So what they did with these monkeys, they cut open their brain and they got to see other monkeys doing a particular action. And then while they were measuring the monkey's brain activity, they found that it was the same as the monkey doing the action. And so it led them to this theory that when a monkey or a human sees someone doing something, the same um, brain patterns will emerge. And it's been extended onto human beings. Yep. Have you guys ever felt pain or um, when someone else has been talking about pain. It's up to you, Yeah, or when people say they're feeling sick and you're mm. like, oh, actually, I am too. I think when yeah. I say something lame because it feels embarrassed for <laughs> me. I do. I'm like, oh, yeah. did you say that? Yeah. 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 Well, there, there was this experiment done with people, and what they found was when someone was talking about uh, pain in a particular region of their body, they had particular um, brain patterns, and they put them in an fMRI machine, which measures brain activity. And then they put um, uh, another participant who was hearing the person complain about the pain in an fMRI machine. Yeah. And what they found was that they had similar brain activities. So what they thought was that the brains, um, the mirror neurons in the mm. brain, were actually just copying what they thought that the other brain was thinking. Mm. And we come to yawning now. So if 10% of our brain's neurons just copy what other people are doing around, when we yawn and we see someone yawn, the yawning neuron, the yawning bit in our brain, decides that it's going to copy. And there are some really interesting evolutionary reasons why yawning might be a, a good thing to be contagious. One, you know, people used to live um, in, in houses or in communities with very um, small rooms. And so when one person was tired, it was advantageous for um, the rest of the people to go to sleep as well. Uh -huh. So, oh, that's intriguing. Next time someone yawns and you yawn as well, you can tell them, hey, I know what did that. It's actually mirror neurons. Are there many other examples of like things besides like yawning and pain where the mirror neurons come into play for humans? Yeah, for sure. Um, there's this amazing story of this, this um, guy that really loved Karate Kid. He just watched Karate Kid mm. over and over and over and over. And because he was watching these awesome karate actions on TV, the, his um, mirror neurons in his brain were actually firing off just like he was doing that action. Mm. And he found himself in a lift one day of a building and um, someone came in the, the lift and tried to mug him. And what he found was he actually used the karate moves that he'd seen <laughs> on Karate Kid automatically. It was like almost watching karate moves means that you're practicing them. So he went up to the guy and went, wax on, wax on. <laughs> watching karate, good self-defense tactic. So there's an excuse to watch Karate Kid. Thank you so much, Thank you very ben. much ben. ben. will be back Thanks next Tuesday with Sight Time. And we'll be back just after this song.